Hello. Okay, today we're talking about foundation, um, so choosing the right foundation shade for you, um, choosing the right type of foundation, the right coverage. Um, we're going to start off just doing a little bit of, you know, talking. That's what I'm good at. Hello. Mm -hmm. I'm um, <laughs> just doing a little bit of seating. <laughs> you lay not what I'm good at. Just smiling. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to do a bit of talking, and then we're actually going to do a separate video, um, just a couple of application techniques for different types of foundations. Yeah. Um, I mean, foundation is... What it says, it's, it's the base, the base for the rest of your makeup. So it's really important that you get the right foundation, that you get the right colour. It's fairly, most British women are, you know, white British women have a very sort of yellowy skin tone. Um, and they, they always think they should go for a pink and that's the, the first mistake mm -hmm. they make. So we'll have a, have a little bit more of a chat about that. But do you want to just start? Do you want to speak? Uh, can I? Please, please do. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> so we'll, uh, the first rule when you're choosing foundation, it has to complement your skin. Um, it shouldn't be too dark or too light and um, we will go through which uh, kind of foundation we have but uh, I will start with the concealer because sometimes you can get away just concealing a few uh, odd scars or uh, freckles or okay. spots or yeah all that under your eyes and uh, don't use foundation at all. Uh, well the best uh, concealer we have is uh, Dr. Hauschka cover stick and the it, Concealer normally is much more thick consist consistency, which actually why it gives such a good coverage. Uh, you have to choose concealer which is one or two tones lighter than your skin tone. And there is no uh, rules when to apply it, before you apply foundation or after. So I would say if you're using a powder foundation, you would apply it before. And if you're using cream or liquid foundation, you would apply after. And I'll just show you how it looks. Yeah, yeah that, that comes into skin tone, mm -hmm. so it comes in pink or beige, and I think most people will go for the beige. Yeah, and it's easy, you just uh, apply it and don't rub it, just don't let it apply it and leave it. Um, moving on from concealer, before we actually get to a proper heavy foundation, um, it's just your tinted moisturisers. So with this, you're getting that little bit of coverage, so you're smoothing out um, you know, any imperfections in the skin, but at the same point, you're not, you're not putting a mask on, you're not covering everything, so your natural beauty will still shine through, but you're just concealing the little bits that you want to hide from people. It's really simple to apply as well, and if you've got dry skin, it's perfect, because you, it's not going to sit in the line, it's going to moisturise, it's not going to emphasise anything that's going on there, and it, it gives a really nice sort of sheen. Um, so mm. it's finished to the skin. You can apply it with fingers or with sponges, and it's just nice and simple. You know, almost wash and go. Put it on and go. It's, it's mm. not that easy. It's one step, is it? It's uh, foundation and moisturizer yeah. in one. Um, well, for oily skin and sensitive skin, uh, we would recommend the mineral powder foundation. And um, I personally like Teradoc one. We have three colors. It's very easy. You just apply it like this. We will, you will need the brush, which I don't have it in front of me in the Somewhere. moment. Somewhere. I'll show you the brush on the video yeah, later um, on, so. yeah, we, we need a, a foundation brush and you um, build up the coverage layer by layer and, uh, until you achieve uh, the color and coverage you want. Um, why sensitive skin? Because it's less ingredients, less irritants and um, oily skin it produces enough oil already so uh, it will sit really nicely. It's almost invisible. I'm wearing uh, now one and you can really see it. And uh, well this particular one smells really, really nice. Yeah, it does make a difference because mm. some, some foundations have a scent of them that yeah. could be a bit off the bottom. It smells like, like a candy. <laughs> Um, so you just said oily skin, didn't you? I said dry skin. Um, another one that's suitable for dry skin is the liquid ones. Um, kind of suitable for all skin types. Um, this one, the translucent from Dr. Hauschka, um, is like I said, suitable for pretty much all skin types. So it's really good for dry skin because it's not going to sit in the creases. It's not going to hide. Mm -hmm. You put powder on the ones that go to a powder. They show every line, every impression. That's not what you, obviously what you want to be doing. Um, you can apply it with a sponge, you can apply it with a brush, you can apply it with your fingers. So you've got a whole host of um, mm. ways of applying it. It's so simple and to use and you find your own preference with it. Um, obviously, when you're testing these things out, always test them just on the jawline here. So not on the cheek, which is a completely different colour than, mm. than most of your face. And not on your hands, because again, your hands are a different colour than your face. So just test it here. Um, test it in different lights as well. So sort of go into the, to the light and go towards, you know, under artificial light. 
I just have a look how it, you know, how it looks because you don't want that that harsh line no. from getting the wrong colour. It's so important to get the right colour. And so important to blend it well. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you apply it on your face, make sure you apply it all over the face and um, especially uh, in the nose areas because when it's neglected, it looks. Really. Yeah, and some people put too much as well, and it, yeah. it, it really cakes in here. So, mm. so put it on the rest of your face, and then just make sure it's blended around the nose, around the eyes, around the hairline, and, and around the jawline. Mm. Uh, so yeah, this one with good coverage, but not a really heavy coverage. So again, you're not going to cover if you, if you have you know a heavy scarring or really heavy freckles. You're not going to cover them with this one. But you are going to get coverage from most skin types, um, and I think it's suitable for all skin types. It's, it's really good. Well, um, another liquid foundation we have for you was talking about Dr. Hauch, I was talk about MD, it's moisturizing foundation and it's also uh, for all skin types, um, it's water based so it's uh, good for oily skin. I would say if you have oily skin and you're using liquid foundation, uh, after you apply it, it's always nice to go over with translucent powder just to set it mm -hmm. so it won't shine through the day and it will give it that um, glowy effect. Um, well, well, I think that's about it. Is it? You yeah. wanted to, to talk yeah. about... Uh, oh, another thing. Um, if you're using the foundation, it's always uh, good to find a good primer. And uh, it's always uh, good to start with uh, well cleansed face and uh, you can find moisturizer and a primer uh, in one. So you will apply moisturizer or a primer or as I say, if you have a moisturizer which is a primer. You're applying that one and let it um, soak in for about 20 minutes and uh, dab the tissue on it to, to get rid of the remains and then you can start applying the foundation. Yeah, get a good, good base mm. first. One last foundation I think the last one I want to look at is the compact one. No, oh, sorry, I'm sure the light over there. Um, the compact one. Now, this one you would have to apply with a sponge or a brush. I mean, you could use things because it's quite thick and heavy. Um, and it gives a really, really thick, heavy coverage. Um, so, still without giving that, you can still breathe through it. So, you're not getting that mask where your skin isn't breathing, but you are getting a really good coverage. And it's quite good for more mature skin because it doesn't cake in the lines, but at the same point, it's covering the imperfections that as you get older become more apparent. Um, and it gives a nice dewy finish this one as well so you're not getting the dry finish with it you are getting the, uh, you know a, a nice finish also if you use a slightly damp sponge when you apply it you're getting a sort of a more sheer finish anyway so you're getting a really nice consistency from them so what the the trick is um, wet the sponge take the tissue and squeeze the remains water in the tissue paper and you'll have that damp effect and it really works it's um gives you even complexion and it distributes the uh, foundation evenly. Using a sponge with something like this as well is also more hygienic. If you're using the, the, the pump ones, it's not too much of an issue, but you don't mm. really want to be putting your fingers in and out of these things. Um, if you put, if you constantly put your fingers in, you're putting bacteria in. Using a sponge, changing it on a regular basis, or using a brush and you know making sure it's kept mm. clean, it's much more hygienic. I mean, this particular one, the Envy one, actually comes with a little sponge in it, which is fantastic. Mm. You know, just give that a wash every you know every couple of goes, and, and then you're keeping it nice and fresh and hygienic. With your foundation, always remember, if they start to look a bit grotty or they start to have a, a smell that was different than when you bought it, throw it away. It's not worth risking your skin, um, you know, the balance of your skin and upsetting it and risk of getting infections in there. Just just bin it and, and start afresh. Well, come to us and we will advise you which one is Yeah, best. I mean, we do do makeup lessons quite a lot here. Yeah. People are never quite, foundation mm -hmm. the one thing they're never sure on. Um, yeah. So it's it's really it can be tricky because there's so many out there. But essentially, if you think you know tinted moisturisers are good for dry skin, um, if you've got you know more mature skin, perhaps go for a slightly heavier coverage, but again, not not a dry consistency. Um, you know, dry skins keep a nice, nice liquid foundation. Um, I've always said dry, I haven't dry twice. Liquid Stop or breathing. tinted. I know, sorry. <laughs> Mineral foundation for sensitive skin, perfect. Um, yeah, and then for oily yeah. skin, make sure you've got an oil free foundation. And most importantly, make sure it's the right colour for yeah, you. Yeah, that's the most the way important thing. You don't want to look like Orange, you have a mask wag look. on. Mm. I love the wag look, yes. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll get in trouble for things sorry. like that. You're referring to the programme, of course, yeah. here, aren't you? Not the county. No. Anyway, <laughs> um, I, think, I think that's basically it. Like I said, I am going to show you um, Elena Bravely 
go take her makeup off and I'm going to show you a couple of ways of um, applying the makeup to her. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye.